there are two ways to add pictures to your presentation. The first is to use the insert menu, choose picture from file, and select the picture you, ha you want to add to the slide. Once that picture comes in, you can move it, size it, and position it as you want. The other way to do it is to use an empty content placeholder, click the insert picture button, and again, choose your picture and click open. <coughs> the advantage to using the placeholder is that your picture will be scaled to suit the size of the placeholder. It still may need a little adjustment, like in this case it just could be moved over a little, but it does scale it to the placeholder for you. However, scaling it is certainly not a problem, so either way works really well. just depends on the slide and what you need to add. In a standard presentation slideshow, clicking the mouse or hitting the spacebar moves you to the next slide, and one slide immediately replaces the other with no effects or sounds. You can change that by using the slide transition section of the task pane. When you open Impress, you're on the layout section, but you can click down here to slide transition to choose transitions between slides. If you click this scroll bar, you'll see a wide variety of transition choices. When you click one, it will preview for you, providing you have automatic preview checked. If you don't, you'll have to check it to see the preview. Slide transitions are, can be very effective, but like so many things with presentations, you have to be a bit careful to use the transitions in service of your point rather than <coughs> obfuscating your point and making your audience pay attention to the effects rather than to the point of your talk. You can also, having chosen a transition, you can choose slow, medium, or fast speed, and you can add a wide variety of sounds. Now you can imagine if you were at a presentation you might not want to hear this all that many, some of these sound effects all that many times. However, it, there is the option and you should know how to do it in case you need to. You can here choose to advance the, the slide automatically. Most presenters want to manually advance their slides because what you say about a slide can vary from speech to speech, even though you're giving the same presentation you know, inspiration doesn't flow in an even way. You can also choose to apply the transition and the sound to all slides. So let's do that. And then we'll look at the slideshow. And I'll click. As you can see, <clears throat> transitions with sounds can get pretty awful pretty fast. I my my personal preference is a pretty subtle transition and if you have a sound at all something pretty um quiet i like fade transitions so fade through black and okay not that something a fairly s oh, looking for a nice simple sound <laughs> There may not be one, so we'll live with that one. So again, I'm going to get, apply to all slides and click Slideshow. Let me begin at the beginning. So I really think we'll go with no sound. You can choose other sound, which would allow you to open a sound. So if you had a really short clip, so let's see, um, let's do this. We've all heard that before, haven't we? So let's go ahead and go to the first slide, click apply to all slides in the slideshow. Oh, 
I don't have the right one applied. Sound. This one. Apply to all slides. Slide chain. So this is too long, but you get the general idea that you could put your own custom sound in, thereby coming up with something that maybe um, works for your presentation, isn't too intrusive, and is really short. So if you have a sound that you like, such as this piano loop, you could take it into Audacity, trim it, make it shorter, and use it that way. Okay, so that's transitions and sounds in, in Impress.